ladies and gentlemen, it is here. We are live on Black Ops 6 for the first game of Zombies. Now, I can't tell you how excited I am for this. I've been playing Zombies like crazy last night, or this past couple of weeks, and last night I was playing it, and I'm just so excited. This is going to be the first game we're going to hop into Liberty Falls and take a look and see what is going on. I got my Zombie Woods skin. Let's go, I'm ready. Select mission. Standard or save fight. Oh yeah, because we can save progress now. Standard. Play solo. Save and quit. Loading a save. You've got one save slot. Saves expired after 30 days. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Liberty Falls or Terminus. Now we're going to jump into Liberty Falls. We have to. Starting with the 9mm pistol. A knife. We've got energy mine, concussion grenades and a gobble gun. I've not even looked at anything. I don't think I've got anything unlocked. Pack a punch, camos, on or off. I don't know what one's on. I think that's on. Start mission, I guess. And we're we're loading. Let's do it. Let's get it. Load into our first mission here. Not looked at any settings. Not looked at any pack a punch or off or anything. Wonder weapon, the beam smasher. Damn, look at this thing. That's crazy. And whoa, is this the thunder gun? Like a new thunder gun. This is exciting. Round based zombies on Liberty Falls. Let's get it. Edit the pack up edit the gobble gums. Yep, use salvage. There's only one form of salvage in this game. I do know that much. I do know there's only one form. Here we are. Alpha team, this is security. I'm gonna quickly do this and I want to turn on the subtitles. Blanchard, are you a cybersora? It did not work. God damn, look at this. My keyboard controls are wrong as well. What's my alternate melee button? Okay, we're sorted. Here we are. Hello, zombie. Hello. Oh, this looks amazing. I am in no means a large creator. So seeing this for the first time and experiencing it for the first time. Obviously, there are... Uh, content creators out there that get to play the game early and see things and do things in the game and, and make content on them early. What, there's a zip line that takes over there, the box is over there. I think we jump down. Oh my days, look at this. This is insane. Energy gates blocking off the motel. So we seem to have st we've started up on this rooftop, which I'm going to assume is, okay, it's above the gas station. Oh my days. This looks amazing. I absolutely adore the changes that they've made. How come there's two low health ones now? I adore the changes they've made in the graphics and the previous ones having played a bunch of kind of Black Ops 6 or Black Ops 1 games. Um, the, the increase in graphics is, is incredible. I love it. We're on to round two. We have to investigate the town as the objective. How do we get? To, oh, here's the gobble gun machine. This is Mr. Peaks themed. What do we get? Oh, we got anywhere but here. So this costs fifteen hundred to open the barrier. Okay, okay, fifteen hundred. Why are you a crawler? A base level crawler? Oh, they come busting out of that door. That was kind of creepy. Oh, they come. They just came flying out of that door. <laughs> What is this machine? Ow, it damages. That's not fun. There seems to be a load of zombies. There's a concussion grenade, I think. Yeah, there seems to be loads of zombies. Oh, we armored, we got armor. I forgot there was armor. Even though I've been playing Cold War a bunch. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the Cold War videos. I enjoyed playing the maps. It was the first time I had seen those maps. And it was, uh... Oh, we have this Omni movement stuff now, so you can sprint backwards, can't you? Forgot about that. You can sprint in all directions. The zombies look... Look at the the graphics in the zombies. Jeez, they look amazing. It's like a proper zombies experience. As opposed to them being, like, old-school Nazi zombies. Let's go and check out that room they came busting out of earlier on. I want to see what's in there. We have the mini map. We've, obviously, we've got the changes in Cold War where they now have 
health bars and whatnot. That's the DM10, whatever that is. Oh, is this a crafting bit? Oh wait, this is the wonder weapon. How do we get this? Stopping mechanism, resolve. Okay, okay. I think we are good to progress. I think we head through, I'm actually tempted to go this direction first. What is that? Oh, this is for that machine that was over there. I think we head this way first, through here. I spoke on Forsaken about how much I enjoyed the... Oh, I didn't notice this. What is that? Here's the box. I'll grab a gun from the box. New box music. Interesting. Not the classic box music. Oh, there's music playing in the shops and everything. There's armor wall by. So we can get into this room. What's in here? All these comics. Loose change. Author Auth Aetherella trap. Okay, interesting. How much is this? 4,000 for a le level 2 armor vest. We can hop the counter in the comic shop. There's a little model. Oh, ho, 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 I love the way this looks. I absolutely love it. There's a workbench there. Is this just a... I think that's just a normal workbench. Like a kind of crafting grenades and whatnot workbench. Let's take a look. Yeah, we can craft armor, tactical grenades and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's pass this on. How much is this door? Seventeen fifty. So the doors are a lot more expensive initially. Normally we see doors costing between seven fifty and a thousand, and then that increases to like twelve fifty. But the doors for this area seem to be more expensive. What's this? The field dissolve zombies with dark aether energy for a thousand as a trap. Okay, cool. This gun seems strong. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. We do have a pistol wall by here. Hole for zombies to spawn in. The, there's definitely a departure from previous zombies where there's no breakable barriers. Which I don't know if I like that change or not. Oh no. That was close. It's definitely... I think it's a step back. But nowadays with the openness of the maps and how... Can it, like This is a whole town map. I think it makes sense to not have rebuildable barriers. Because you're not in a starting room like Kino or uh, like Nactar and Toten or something like that. You're not in a starting room anymore. You're in an area and it's bigger. ASG 89. I've not even looked at the guns or anything. The only thing I looked at was the zombies blog post. That was it. Shields up. This is going to refill our shields. Nice. So we've got two gobble gums now. So we can hold up to three in this game mode, from what I can tell. Let's see how much this is. This one is 2,000. Okay, so you can't zap yourself on the doorways. Let's get some points and we'll move through to the next zone. Oh, there's a space around here. There's another crafting table. So I'm going to assume this is the same, yeah, equipment. So it's the same as the other one. Let's see, what have we got, what have we got? A couple more. Make use of my insta-kill. Bunch of melee. Got some points. An armor plate. Hey, I'll refill. Since they dropped it, thank you. What's this here? Some kind of scientific equipment. And we can jump down, presuming? Yeah, it looks like we can jump down there. Oh, I love this. I'm a big fan of this. A big fan of this. Is this speed cola? What is going on here? Wait, you can go up on that rooftop. Hold on. Oh god, it's the vermin. Oh, hell no. These things are creepy looking. I've got a friend who hates spiders. He has like a crazy fear of spiders. This is his worst nightmare. Absolutely his worst nightmare. Good lord. Oh wait, the zipline's across the buildings. So it's across. I thought this was a zipline up. Max ammo, okay, so max ammo is still the same. Do we have a map? Oh, we do have a map. <gasps> oh, look at this stuff. There's, oh, there's Jug there. We missed Jug. Oh, what's up here? The arsenal. Okay, I wonder what the arsenal is. I think that's where you buy the alternate ammo types. Investigate the church. Here's Melee Macchiato. Grab the list change. 
Oh, so we just get vermin spawning now. Can I just say so vermin are the new dogs? That's fine. We understand how dogs work and zombies. They've been around long enough. Definitely a higher number of enemies spawning per round, even on solo, which I quite like to be perfectly honest. What happens if we drag zombies through the aether storm? Do I take damage on it? No. Do you? No. Okay, interesting. I wonder what the point of that is then. I'm sure we'll find out. Let's take a few of these guys out. Look, at there's so many of them. Our first calling card. Nice. First challenge complete. Look at that. Let's grab a gobblegum. I don't know what I've got in this uh, gobblegum pack. So it'd be interesting to see. Stock option? Ah, we know stock option. Classic in the zombies community. How do we investigate this? Open the door. Oh my days. Is this pack? Yeah, it's pack. And we're in some kind of dark aethers zone. Interesting. Okay. Is this open? It is open. It's functional. That's just how you get to pack a punch then. Ammo box. We can break the crystals still. That's still a thing. And this is a portal I'm assuming out of the way. It is. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. So that was us. The, the story or the, the markers took us to pack a punch and left us alone. Interesting. And you teleport through somewhere. Oh my. Where does this teleport you to? There's so much to uncover in this map. There's so much. That's so cool. Oh, hello. So where have we not been on the map then? Let's go and have a, a look and see. Armor ping wall by. Uh, there's a zip line. There's a gobble gobble. Wait, so there's a zip line here? There is. Woohoo. Let's go. This takes us onto the rooftops. I wonder if there's a benefit to being on the rooftops. This is a buildable station if I've ever seen one. Personal items, the jet gun, the LTG, and aether canisters. So we need to find that kind of stuff. Now, I'm not one for going and doing all that myself, so... We won't be doing it this time, but I'll happily put dead wire on my gun. Sure thing. We can open the access to the main street. Ah, so we're back over. Okay. And we can open this room. Liberty Falls Savings and Loans. Look at this. There's Jug. Ah, my favorite. There's a combat axe. The movement feels quite good. Uh, so I'm playing on PC. I don't know how it's going to feel on console, but I'm playing on PC. So I've got separate keybinds for um, crouching and for dolphin dive and whatever. So that one just evolved. That was quite something. Insta kill. Let's make use of this. I wonder how effective the field upgrades are in, in this. In Cold War they feel quite strong. So I'm interested to see how strong they are in this. One thing's for sure, the melee feels good. I know that much. Okay, right. I've got a feeling we need to activate these machines for whatever reason and collect a dark aether energy from these aether canisters. Sam trial has appeared on the map location Fuller's Liberty Lanes. I don't know where that is. Sam trial. Maybe over this way somewhere. So yeah, I can, as I was saying about the combat or the, the movement, I can slide and dive on separate buttons. But I don't know how that goes for, let's try this. I don't know how it works for uh, other consoles or whatever other control schemes. We're getting a lot of kills here with this. Oh. Interesting. There's definitely some kind of system here to collect the zombie souls with these Dark Aether Shroud things. Or these Dark Aether deconstructors, I'll we'll call it. What can we make in here? We can make monkey bombs. Unlocked at level 18. Oh, this is the Sam trial. Okay. And this is the this is the bowling Oh, what is going on here? 
this is cool. In the bowling alley. It'd be funny if the, the zombies, like, would slip and fall while running around on here, because the bowling alleys are polished, obviously, aren't they? So, it'd be slidey. Do we need to open this door out here? We do. Okay. Anything down here? I think this looks like the end. Yes. And up the top takes us presumably up to the church. PhD's up here. And it's there. Good old PhD flopper. And this is back up to the church, yeah. How much is this to open? 2,000. There we go. Okay, so there's two main ways up to the church. There's a bunch of perks, a bunch of buildings to go into. Bunch of stuff to find as well by the looks of it. There's... What? The LTG, the jet gun, whatever these uh, things are here for the, these kind of Dark Aether machines. Definitely interesting. Need to figure out more about how they work. It does seem as if there's less danger in this, I will say, because you can just hop over a wall like that and get out if you get trapped on a section that's kind of in a, t in a tight spot. You know? We couldn't go into that shop, could we? I'm um, got no ammo here. There must be an ammo crate around here somewhere. There's one over here. Yep. Something's beeping. No, can't hear it anymore. So the map actually isn't huge, which I quite like. Can't open from this side. So how do I get inside? This was the door we, we did look at this door earlier. Do we need to jump off the roof maybe? How do we get on the roof? Let's find out. Do I have a self revive? It does look like I've got a self revive down the bottom corner. Can we climb back up onto this roof, I wonder? There is a ladder on the second floor there. There's a ladder here. And we'll climb back up. This should let us zip line then. Hello. Maybe we can zip line. Cannot open from here, so we need to open it. Open the zip line on the other roof. Okay. We can do that. If we can figure out how to get back up onto that roof, we should be fine. Go and take a look. I don't know, is there, I can't remember if there's X fill or not on this. I think there might be, and I just can't remember. I don't mind the X fill mechanic, it's good for uh, getting out, you know? It's good, it's a good way to end the game, essentially. There must be stuff in here somewhere. Oh, there's a vault. Enter the vault combination. Where the hell do you get the vault combination from? Where are they going? I'm getting out of here. I wonder where they were going. Leveled up the gun again. Right, that was onto the top of the bank. So we can't go in there. How did we get onto the, the rooftop before? I think we took a zip line from the top, didn't we? We need to go and have a look and see. Let's see here. It was there. There's there. We need to figure out what the Aether Shroud cloud things are. See those purple clouds that we've seen around? Figure out what they do as well. So we should be able to open this from here. We can. Which lets us zip all the way back to the start. Something, something's beeping over there. Don't know what that is. I want to zip line back. Let's see if we can make it. You can, sweet. Yeah, those purple clouds here. Figure out what they do. There doesn't seem to be a way into the, the bank from up here though. Remember that door that we couldn't open from this side? Locked door. Oh, are we going this way? No. What is going on in that building? What is going on in that building? I really want to see if we can zap a zombie with this and see what happens. Nothing seems to be happening when they get zapped. I think they just did get electrocuted. Yeah, nothing, nothing happens. So you don't electrocute the zombies. This gun feels strong, I'm liking this. This is what, the XM4, I think? Yeah, the XM4 is just the M4. I'm a fan of the M4. So it says this door costs money. Cannot open from here. But why not? It doesn't even look like there's a way in. There is a, a door marked up there on the map. Uh, let me go and check it out. It said, I can see it on the map. It's, it's marked as a, a viable door. So I need to go and have a look and see. I don't know if it's talking about the door on the rooftop, the one that we opened. Oh, there's a cloud there. What's that cloud? Look. Oh, it says down the way. So is the Bible door, that alarm has gone off again. I could hear from before. Uh, how do we get down from here? Okay. Interesting that it lets you onto this roof. I wonder what the purpose of this one is. Just to jump down maybe. 
Did this side of the map? I must have missed the door in here. Ah, I missed this. The door to Yummy Freeze. Okay, so it just opens up a kind of pathway through the map. I wonder where we're going to find the code for the bank vault. This is this is crazy. Enter vault combination. Where do we find the numbers? There is a number there. It's 110, but it's not going to be that. Absolutely not going to be written on the front of the building. And big obvious writing. We can't get into that building. I think we've seen the whole map at this point. I think we've seen the whole map. There's an icon. Oh, it's the gobblegum machine over there, isn't it? That's what I'm saying. The icon on the map, yeah. Gobblegum. Is that a vertical? Oh, it's a vertical zip line up there. Okay, cool. So there's also a vertical zip line. Let's get out of here. Very much a fan so far. There's obviously lots to see and do. And unfortunately, playing it solo is quite difficult to experience that. And when I want to pull together a quick video to share my first playthrough and my first thoughts, I don't really have the, the time or the capacity to be hunting for all of that stuff myself. It's absolutely the case where you save the game and I come back to it and continue the hunt afterwards, you know? Big fan though. It definitely doesn't... I don't feel as negative about it as I think some other people do. I think there's quite a bit of uh, negativity and people not thinking it's going to be good or whatever. I think it's a lot better than what they're giving up or what they're thinking. Extraction? Oh, okay, let's try an extract. So there is definitely extracts here. We can try. Do my first perk buy. Wouldn't be doing it. Wouldn't be doing justice to Juggernaug if I didn't buy it. We can actually go through here. Yeah. We're learning the map. We're learning the map. And we'll see how we'll see how the X-Fill mechanic works on this one, if it's any different or if it's the same or what. Let's see. Call x -Fill helicopter. Okay, so they all burn up. Yep, it's much the same as Cold War. And what is this skull? I'm going to make a run for it just now while I can. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we hold down the zone. 35 elims. Much the same as before. Okay, cool. As expected. Not terrible. I don't mind this system. I actually quite like it. Because like I said before, it's a good way of ending the, ending the game. They also seem to give you lots of space to do this. I think we can also start working on the camel grind as well. We don't need to have leveled up our weapons at all to unlock stuff. Enter the heli and escape. Is it coming down for me? There we go. Nice work. Let's get out of here. Oh, has a wee cutscene? This is cool. <gasps> I forgot I had the zombie wood skin on. <laughs> Alright, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the first look I've had at Liberty Falls. You know what? I'm now more excited than what I was before. I think the map looks really good. I think it looks amazing. I think it's not too big. I was worried about it being too big because it was described as being like a town and I'm glad that it's not as big as it initially seemed so I'm really looking forward to getting into it. There's definitely a lot on the map that I've still to see. I haven't seen anything apart from maybe like the preview trailer or anything like that beforehand so I am really excited to to get back in, find the secrets, find out how to get the the gun, the, the wonder weapon and stuff like that, the LTG and we'll, we'll see what happens. So thank you guys very much for watching. Or hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, then why not consider liking the video and hitting subscribe for some more Black Ops 6 zombie and maybe multiplayer content. I'll catch you guys later.